Welcome to the channel, everyone. We're about to delve into the spooky, the creepy, the downright unsettling history of one of America's most haunted locations, the Conjuring House. Over the next 10 minutes, we're going to unpack 10 bone-chilling facts about this house that'll leave you sleeping with the lights on. So if you're brave enough to stick around, let's get right into it. All right, so picture this. Harrisville, Rhode Island. Quaint, charming, idyllic New England town, right? Well, nestled in this picturesque landscape is a house with a history so dark, so sinister, that it would make Stephen King himself shudder. Built way back in the 1700s, this place has seen its fair share of drama, tragedy, and some say some truly messed up paranormal activity. This house isn't just some random spooky spot with a few creaky floorboards and flickering lights. We're talking full-on poltergeist activity, demonic entities, and enough unexplained phenomena to make even the most hardened skeptic raise an eyebrow. Fast forward to the 1970s, the Perron family, a seemingly normal family with five daughters, decides to move into this charming little farmhouse. The Perron family walked right into what can only be described as a paranormal hurricane. We're talking strange smells, unexplained noises, objects moving on their own, the whole nine yards. Carolyn Perron, the mother, claimed that the entity had a thing for her husband, Roger. The Perron family's experiences were so disturbing, so terrifying, that they called in the big guns of the paranormal world, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Now, no good ghost story is complete without a villain, and boy does the conjuring house deliver. Enter Bathsheba Sherman, a woman who lived on the property in the 1800s. She was rumored to be a practitioner of the dark arts, a witch, if you will. Legend has it that Bathsheba was involved in some seriously messed up stuff, including the death of a neighbor's child. Many believe that it's her vengeful spirit that's responsible for the torment inflicted upon the Perron family and countless others who have dared to enter the house. Okay, so we've got a haunted house, a terrified family, and a vengeful witch. The stage is set for a chilling encounter. Time to call in the professionals, right? The family is desperate for help. Well, in the world of the paranormal, there are no bigger names than Ed and Lorraine Warren. They are legends in their field. When they arrived at the Conjuring House in 1973, the atmosphere was thick with fear and anticipation. They were already seasoned veterans of the paranormal, with years of experience under their belts, having tackled high-profile cases like the infamous Amityville Horror. Lorraine, a clairvoyant, claimed to have sensed an overwhelming feeling of evil within the house, a darkness that was almost palpable. And Ed, a demonologist, believed that the entity haunting the parents was not just a ghost, but something far more sinister, something malevolent and dangerous. The Warrens conducted numerous investigations, seances, and rituals, and even attempted an exorcism to rid the house of its dark presence. Their findings only cemented the Conjuring House's reputation as one of the most haunted locations in America, a place where the supernatural is undeniably real. Now, when we talk about hauntings, we're not just talking about doors slamming shut or lights flickering. The Perron family reported experiencing a whole smorgasbord of paranormal activity. And trust me, it wasn't the fun kind. We're talking disembodied voices whispering threats, shadowy figures lurking in the corners of their eyes, and even instances of physical assault. The children, especially, were subjected to some truly terrifying experiences. They claimed to have encountered a ghostly figure of a young boy who would play with them, only to vanish into thin air. And if that wasn't creepy enough, they also reported seeing the apparition of an old woman, presumably Bathsheba, who would glare at them with pure hatred in her eyes. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say, 
The Ghost in the Machine. The Conjuring, the movie that brought the terrifying tale of the Perron family and the Harrisville haunting to the big screen, has left many wondering about the line between fact and fiction. The film's portrayal of the eerie events in the haunted house was chillingly effective. Now, I'll give credit where credit is due, the movie captured the creepy atmosphere of the house pretty darn well. The dark, shadowy rooms and flickering lights added to the spine-tingling experience. But, as with any Hollywood production, there's always a bit of embellishment, a sprinkle of dramatic license, a whole lot of CGI ghosts thrown in for good measure. The special effects team did a fantastic job creating those ghostly apparitions. While the movie draws inspiration from the real-life events, it does take some liberties with the story. The actual events were certainly eerie, but not always as dramatic as portrayed on screen. For example, the terrifying doll, Annabelle, who plays a prominent role in the film franchise, wasn't actually present in The Conjuring House. In reality, Annabelle was associated with a different case altogether. So while The Conjuring might give you nightmares, it's important to remember that it's just entertainment. The real story, though chilling, is often less sensational than its Hollywood counterpart. Enjoy the scares, but take the story with a grain of salt. Now, you might be thinking, who in their right mind would want to live in that house after all that? Well, believe it or not, The Conjuring House has had several owners since the Perrons. Some stayed for a few years, others for just a few months, but each one has claimed to have experienced their own share of strange and unsettling occurrences. In fact, the current owner, a paranormal enthusiast named Jacqueline Nunez, purchased the property in 2022 and has been documenting her experiences ever since. Whether you believe Jacqueline's claims or think she's just trying to drum up publicity for the house is entirely up to you. Now you might be wondering, what is it about this house? Why is it such a magnet for paranormal activity? Well, if you ask any ghost hunter worth their salt, they'll tell you that spirits are drawn to places of great emotional energy, places where tragedy and trauma have left an indelible mark. And let me tell you, The Conjuring House has had its fair share of tragedy over the centuries. We're talking unexplained deaths, accidental drownings, and even a suspected murder. It's like the house itself is a sponge, soaking up the negative energy of all the sorrow and pain that's transpired within its walls. So, what do you do with a house that's gained international notoriety for being haunted? Well, if you're the current owner, you lean into it. Of course, The Conjuring House is now a popular destination for paranormal enthusiasts and curious tourists alike. You can book a tour of the property, spend the night if you're brave enough, and even participate in paranormal investigations. People come from all over the world, hoping to catch a glimpse of a ghostly apparition, hear a disembodied whisper, or maybe even encounter Bathsheba herself. It's like stepping into a real-life horror movie, except, you know, you can leave whenever you want. All right, so we've talked about the Perrins, the Warrens, the alleged witch, Bathsheba Sherman, and the eerie events that supposedly took place in that infamous house. But here's the thing about ghost stories. They tend to get embellished over time. Details get muddled, stories get exaggerated, and new elements are often added to make them more thrilling. And before you know it, you've got yourself a full-blown legend that takes on a life of its own. The Conjuring House is no exception to this phenomenon. While there's no denying that something strange is going on in that house, the stories have grown and evolved over the years. The extent of the hauntings, the intensity of the experiences, the specific details of the events, and the nature of the entities involved have all been called into question by various experts and skeptics. Skeptics argue that many of the paranormal experiences reported at the house can be explained by natural phenomena, like drafts, settling pipes, or even the creaking of old wood. Or perhaps it's the power of suggestion playing tricks on the mind. Whether you're a firm believer in the paranormal or a die-hard skeptic, the story of The Conjuring House is a fascinating one, 
that continues to capture the imagination and spark debate. It's a tale that blurs the line between reality and fiction, leaving us to wonder what truly lies within those haunted walls. So, there you have it, folks. 10 chilling facts about The Conjuring House. Whether you believe in ghosts or think it's all a load of hogwash, there's no denying this place has one heck of a story to tell. Who knows what really lurks within those walls? Is it the spirit of Bathsheba, Sherman seeking revenge? Or just a really creaky old house messing with our heads? I guess the only way to find out is to grab a flashlight, maybe a priest, and spend a night there yourself. Until next time, sleep tight and don't let the ghosts bite. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more spine-chilling content.